Hello everyone. My name is Sri Lakshmi. I am one of the OIT trainers working at Med City International Academy Kottayam. Today I would be explaining in detail about the strategies to tackle OIT reading part B and C. As you all know, part B consists of six different questions from six different extracts and each extract would be a short paragraph with 100 to 150 words. My first advice is to read the paragraph completely because most often they would ask the gist or the purpose of the entire extract. So detailed reading is necessary in part B. My second piece of advice is to read the questions each and every words in the question very carefully. My second piece of advice is to read each and every words in the question very carefully. I will show an example and I will explain side by side. Let's look at this question. We have a question here. So in this question, according to the extract, prior to making a home visit, nurses must. So I have already mentioned that you have to read each and every words in the question very carefully. We will move on to the passage. When the nurse is ready to depart, he or she must advise a minimum of two staff members that he or she is commencing home visits with one staff member responsible for logging the nurse's movements. More than one person must be made aware of the nurse's movements. Failure to do so could result in the breakdown of communication and increased risk to the nurse and or practice. After reading this paragraph, we understand that they talk about communication here. So the answer might be option C, but please hold on. We would read the rest of the paragraph and then decide whether this is the correct answer or not. On return to the practice, the nurse will immediately advise staff members of his or her return. This time will be documented on the patient visit list and then scanned and filed by administration staff. The nurse will then attend to any specimens, call chain requirements, restocking of the nurse kit and the biohazardous waste. Okay, so in this paragraph, they have told about the options A and B. C, we will look at this sentence. This time will be documented on the patient visit list. Okay, see the option A, record the time they leave the practice. And see the next option, refill their bag with necessary items. It is also mentioned in this paragraph, like uh, the nurse will then attend to any specimens, call chain requirements, restocking of the nurse kit and biohazardous waste. So we are confused while reading this passage, right? Okay, so we have ordered the option C as the answer and A and B also has given as the answers. So we are confused about the options, right? As I already told, you have to read each and every word in the question very carefully. So we will move on to the question again. According to the extract, prior to making a home visit, prior to making, so give importance to that word, prior to making a home visit. Okay, so then move on to the second paragraph. What they have told in that paragraph? On return to the practice, so they have mentioned about the thing what is after the home visit. So in that way, we can eliminate A and B options. C, option A and B. Record the time they leave the practice, refill their bag with necessary items. So these two options are explained in the second paragraph, so which is after the home visit. So. According to the extract, prior to making a home visit, what would be the answer? So C is the answer 
communicate their intentions to others. This is how we are eliminating the options in part B and this is how we are selecting a correct answer in part B. I hope this video was really helpful for you all. Thank you.